Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy, the Death King here. I don't know if you guys have a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys about functions. I'm going to be showing you how to create functions, what they are, uh, how you would use them in a game, all that good stuff. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so um, just insert your script. You guys already know how to do that. So just go in here, type in SCR script, blah, blah, blah. So get your script. And to create a function, it's kind of like creating a variable. But before I do that, let me tell you what functions are. Okay, so a function is basically like a block of code. Okay, so let's say you needed to, you know, you needed to do something like in a, in in the program, right? So maybe you had to print hey. Obviously, you're not gonna want to print hey, but maybe you had to, okay? And you wanted to do it like a million times, all right? But you didn't want to print it. Like you didn't want to waste all this time doing all that code, right? So what you do instead is you create a function because you can just define the code one time and then you can just print it or you can run it as many times with only one line of code so that might sound a little bit confusing right now i'm sorry if that does sound confusing but i'm going to show you what i mean right now so anyways let's go ahead and get started so you're going to type in local just like how you define variables because you want your function to be local and then you're going to type in function okay so function like that to just because it's a keyword so they need to know you're defining a function so you're going to type in function like that and then you're going to name your function your function can be anything you want to name it but just like variables it cannot start with a number so we'll call it um best function okay <laughs> and then to uh finish it off you're going to put two parentheses side by side and then hit enter and it'll put an end at the bottom for you so you guys have never seen this end statement yet and basically this just means that it's the end of the block of code all right so um that might sound a little confusing but don't worry but anyways yeah this is what functions are so local function um best function um parentheses and then your, your code that you want to execute okay so let's say we want to do this okay we wanted to do this we want to do local best number uh, and then local favorite number okay um, is equal okay so this one's equal to 10 this one's equal to 15 okay and then we wanted to print the best number plus favorite number okay so this is kind of simple all you're going to be doing here is you're going to be um, running this code so you're going to be defining these two variables and then adding these two variables together so it's going to be 25 so and then you have to actually um, run the function so right now if I just hit play it's not going to do anything because it's just defining the function see as you can see nothing happened because we never called the function okay so calling the function means basically just making it run and to make the function run or call it you're just going to type in the name of the function and then uh, with the parentheses at the end so it'll be you know best function and as you can see it shows up there already for me but best function and then parentheses and then boom hit play and what's gonna happen it's gonna print 25 so yeah that's pretty simple pretty pretty cool but um now and then we can print it as many or we can run this function as many times as we want okay so we can oh my bad we can just keep doing it and then it'll print like six 25s right so it's gonna just do that that and then yeah see now roblox studio in the output what it does is it if something's already been outputted it will put um like a multiplication symbol right of the um or how many times it's been outputted okay so it's, that means it's been outputted six times okay 25 been outputted six times all right so yeah that's pretty simple but yeah guys that's basically what a function is and um yeah um there are some more things about function you guys will learn in tomorrow's video tomorrow's video and um there are some more way cooler things you can do with functions like um, like you can actually like put values in them and make them do stuff with those values. So it, it'll be really cool and now um, a Practicality use or like um, Like when you'd use these in a game is for example, maybe you wanted a function that would um, like local function uh, maybe give give players um, Tools maybe you have a simulator game or something like that and you wanted to give them tools, right? So basically you type all the code in here. So blah 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 okay <laughs> blah 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 and and then you would just run the function and m maybe that actually did something and it would give all players tools but obviously this doesn't give any players tools because there's just no code in there besides comments but anyways guys 
that is what functions are and how they work. And like I said, I'll be teaching you more about functions in tomorrow's video. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.